After an incredible year leading LSU women's basketball team on a championship run, Andrew Reese is no longer with the team. <clears throat> LSU women's basketball is crumbling right before our eyes with the latest social media drama involving the mothers of Angel Reese and Flaw J. Johnson being the latest indicator that there's trouble with the Tigers. Amid the controversy surrounding Reese after her benching in the second half of LSU's win against Kent State, her mom, Angel Webb, took, her, took to her Instagram stories to criticize a long message Folks, please don't send me long text messages with a bunch of grammatical errors. It gives me a headache, Reb wrote. How do I know what you said if I can't understand what you're saying? While it was initially unclear what Mrs. Reese was referring to, it eventually became obvious that she was taking a shot at Johnson's mom, Kia Brooks. That is after Brooks responded to the message with an Instagram story of her own, where she dissed the mother and daughter, even as far as going to revealing the youngers, Reese's GPA. You definitely don't know about grammatical errors when your daughter got a 2.0 or less GPA. Ooh -wee. And in fact, when writing your smart message, you didn't capitalize, nor did you use any periods. I mean, she's destined to go to the WNBA. So the 2.0, uh, most pe some people are saying um, that she's like literally not trying at all. But granted, this woman's going to be a professional basketball player in a year or two. So let's not worry about like she's not going to be furthering her education after this like it's clear that she's a professional basketball now i'm not i'm not justifying bad grades but like let's just be a little bit realistic she said stop being petty fake and hateful and take responsibility for you and your daughter's action you're just as responsible you raise her that way nobody give a damn who what you think you are who you are since you came up off another's brand just like god gave it to you he will take it right away Always stay humble and never forget who made you and where you came from. Oh, wait. Okay, so let's look at some of these um, photos that they got going on. But it is still unknown where the problem steamed, stemmed from, but it's definitely a bad look for LSU's women's basketball. When everyone thought they were going to maintain their dominance, I mean, they had a great year last year, winning the title in 2022 and 2023 season. Plenty of issues on and off the court has, mar has marred their campaign so far. Both Angel Reese and Flaje have yet to comment on the heated war of words between their moms. Hopefully, it won't affect the Tigers and their overall chemistry as they try to steer to the ship in the right direction. Now, apparently, she did say something. And let's see what she had said. Okay, so she tweeted something yesterday, the 19th, saying, Please don't believe everything you read. Recently absent from the team, Reese's situation has been a topic of intense debate and online drama, especially following a social media exchange between her mother and the mother of teammate Flaj. I mean, Flaj, just um, sidebar, is signed to Young Money. So that's, like, she has a prominent... She has the potential to have a prominent rap career as well, and she's a f an amazing basketball player as well. So that's that's an interesting situation right there. Reports from LSU Tiger TV and Outkick indicate that Reese's su suspension is allegedly due to a low GPA, and details surface that amidst a social media spat involving grammatical, that's some petty petty. Like as black moms, right? It's innately in us as black people right petty i feel like we you know we are great people but we got that petty in us but when your daughters are the have made it to the highest level of basketball have earned scholarships to play basketball for free and earn money in college and then have the potential to go to the WNBA, you would assume that mothers and adults parents on top of that would know how to conduct themselves in a collegiate environment like this is not the high school team this is not a d2 team with lack of media coverage lsu won the title last year there's plenty of paparazzis and media going around so for them to have this situation of involving grammatical er uh, errors and academic performances and whatnot like that's that's distasteful like literally um, Flaje's mother said, you definitely don't know about grammar errors when your daughter has a 2.0 or less GPA. Ooh -wee. But here is what the LSU women's basketball coach, Kim Mulder. You want me to explain why? It's very obvious Angel is not in uniform 
Angel is a part of this basketball team, and we hope we see her sooner than later. I'm not, I'm not going to answer anymore. That's it. That's all y'all need to know. Okay? That's respectable. That's respectable. As a coach, she could have been like, man, she ain't been working hard. Her grades ain't where it needs to be, so I can't play her. But, you know, she says she's away from the team right now. She's a part of this team right now. But, you know, she'll be with us soon. So that's that's dope of her. But damn, man. Um, outside the court, Reese has been active on social media, including posting a TikTok video featuring slideshow of roses sent by her boyfriend, Cameron Fletcher, a player for FSU basketball. The caption of the video reflects a personal sentiment from Reese, thanking Fletcher for his support during challenging times. Social media commentary on the situation has been mixed, with some criticizing Reese's actions and lifestyle, while others point out the common struggles students face in balancing academics and athletics. Some comments also raise questions about the responsibility of coaches in such situations and the pressures that come with being a high-profile student-athlete. I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of pressure that comes with being a student athlete, but uh, it pays very well and you are given resources to kind of to uh, mitigate those situations. There's therapy, there's so much lab hours, meaning there's times outside of regular classes when you can get help with your classes and athletes. Uh, they get extra attention, obviously, because coaches want their kids to be eligible and to be able to play and compete and represent the school. So there's always so many resources that people can um, tap into, right, and utilize. But in terms of Angel Reese having a 2.0, like, I think she had, uh, her last year I had a story out on her. But even this year she signed with Reebok, with Shaq being the president of Reebok and making her the first um, basketball player woman's basketball player to be signed and then so the money is good so it has to be like if we're being honest here and, and transparent it has to be i mean i gotta factor in the fact that she is a basketball player she has classes she has a lot of things two a days and all this stuff they won the championship last year so obviously their training regimens a lot uh, rig more rigorous than others but at the same time if everyone else has to maintain a certain gpa um you have to too but not not everyone else is um producing as much as angel reese on the court so i can feel her point on that like yeah y'all getting a good grades but when we hop on this court y'all not doing what angel reese is doing but at the same time she got millions of dollars her nil evaluation was um two three million plus right so if you have millions of dollars, a tutor is a drop in the bucket. Literally having, you can have multiple tutors for several hours and it wouldn't affect the pockets at all. So what do y'all think though? Is this fall on Angel Reese? What do y'all think about the parents of Flaje and Angel Reese being petty? Does it represent the, obviously when they get to the NBA, the women's NBA, uh, this type of stuff is, you know, I don't think it'll be ex accepted on that level, but what do y'all think?